This woman in the, the gospel, she's not anonymous. She's my mother. <laughs> Holy. So anyway, I've gotten more homilies out of my mother, so she's making it, she's doing good. But, uh, you know, at 93, what the issue is, she'll call up, you know, the fuel company. And about, the, you know, the heat's off, it's zero out, and about three days later they show up. And she has come to the conclusion that because she's an older woman, she's not listened to. She's really kind of brushed off. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, <clears throat> so what she does, she calls me, her son, call Hoffman Fuel. And it's like, I want to speak to Mr. Hoffman. <laughs> the Savar fuel is low. And so it's kind of this, this sense of, um, you know, trying to find justice. And she's a woman of prayer as well. But a lot of her prayer is, call John and he'll make the call. <clears throat> So now she's waiting for a roofer to come to help fix up the roof. Uh, she needs a bathroom. You know, a lot of her life is waiting for people and see whether they'll actually show up. And because she really doesn't feel that she has power. Um, somehow she thinks I do. Because <clears throat> I just tell you, you don't come with the oil, you're going to hell. <laughs> Use the hell thing on them. <laughs> It still works. <laughs> still works. Um, I, I wish my Jesuits would believe it. Um, but, uh, you know, as you talk about, you know, there's that individual striving for our own individual needs, but there's also that striving for justice. How, do, how are we people of prayer for justice? And we have, you know, mentioned uh, those that are southern border, looking for justice, looking for a way to uh, come into the country. Um, Francis is very big on refugees and migrants and from all over the world. And, you know, maybe that's our justice issue. Uh, this week I'm going to a conference on reparations for slavery. How is that a justice issue? How are we trying to amend this rift between black and white? And uh, what, will, what will that look like? And what are the different steps we can take? Um, equal access to uh, education is, is something that's dear to my heart as I'm on the board of a couple of schools that really uh, try to work with uh, the poor among us, a number coming from uh, West Baltimore and who would normally be denied great access to education without this opportunity. So I think of those uh, issues of justice, and I, but I always think, you know, we're always dealing with now, how do we train the next generation to be people of justice? I was with the Boy Scouts last night. I'll tell you what the rector of the community does. When the call comes in and says, who's saying mass for the Boy Scouts at 6 o'clock at night on Saturday, everybody scatters. <laughs> And I'm left holding the phone call. And so I was with the, the Boy Scouts last night as they uh, were on, you know, a weekend jamboree. Um, and I remembered uh, being a scout. And so I was able to talk about, I, my prayer as a scout was hoping, praying that the fire would start that I'm starting because it's, it's 32 degrees and I need warmth. And so trying to start that fire and, and realizing that prayer is really how do I work with God? How does God give me strength and to uh, and persevere and to help work with God to get that fire going? Um, but the Boy Scouts, I had to go through it again. Anybody know the, the Scout? I had to look it up. <laughs> Trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. You know, that's a lot. <laughs> but with young people today, just if they could do one of those, like clean up, <laughs> or, or once in a while, be reverent, uh, trust, helpful, uh, be kind. <laughs> so anyway, but, but I was with them last night, and I just remembered that uh, um, the scouts have transformed a bit. 
they're now accepting women. And so young women, and so it, not that it caught me off guard, but it caught me off guard. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you know, I, a woman comes up, young woman comes up, and she says, can I help serve the altar at mass? And then someone else, another woman, can I do the reading? It's always the women who are stepping up, and the guys are now in the background. But I, I asked you, does this, um, has including women into the Boy Scouts, now the Scouts, has it hurt uh, Girl Scouts? And they said, you know, not really. This Girl Scouts now are really about STEM. They're about science, technology, engineering, and math. And uh, my, my niece was a, a Girl Scout, and she's now at Wellesley studying aerospace engineering. <laughs> she got the brains in the family. And, uh, but hoping to, perhaps to be an astronaut. And as we saw of uh, women uh, on the spacewalk this day, uh, is, is a possibility. There's so many opportunities that are open. And, and even in the Me Too movement, we just have to recognize there's also uh, women, young women who are making things happen, that things are changing. Um, what else were I thinking about the, the Boy Scouts? The, um, this was going someplace. <laughs> I think if I just walk around the altar enough, it'll just... You know, I'll figure it out. The best, the thing with this, how the, the best thing about how I just know how it's going to end, um, and that's one thing I forgot today. Uh, <laughs> senior moment. Um, well, I was thinking, you know, how do we deal with change? How do we deal with justice issues? Uh, how do we pray about them? Uh, one real justice issue right now is uh, what's happening in the Amazon. Not just the, the fires that are burning, but a uh, number of people uh, do not have a priest. And so they're really discussing whether a uh, priest can marry there. And so the people are not. It's a justice issue when people cannot receive the sacraments. And so I think about that. And anyway, if they do allow priests to marry in, uh, in the Amazon, I'll forward you my address. <laughs> I'm out of here. I'll speak. I speak Spanish. I'll learn Portuguese. I'll do anything. So anyway, just uh, thinking about that today. Let us think about uh, how we deal with issues of justice in our own lives and how are we uh, educating the next generation uh, to also think about how to create a better world and be people of justice and to pray always for that. As I look at these, uh, the, the scout motto, if we could do any of that, um, we, we'd have a better world. But I also think that this, uh, these words um, speak to Elijah Cummings.